Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh. Security Printing and Minting Corporation of India has released a notification for various uh, specialist officer exams. That's what we are going to discuss today. We are going to discuss the dates. Uh, we are going to discuss the exam pattern. And then we are going to discuss the syllabus, right? So everything we are going to discuss in this session. So stay updated, right? So let's start with the number of vacancies so for assistant manager uh, there are 16 vacancies for finance and accounting uh, assistant manager marketing 16 which uh, vacancies assistant manager finance and accounting 10 vacancies legal there are three vacancies three vacancies for human resources right so important dates from 3rd of september you can apply right uh, the last day to apply is uh, 3rd of October so 3rd of October is the last day to apply and examination dates would be notified so once they are notified we'll let you know right don't worry so eligibility criteria by the age of 30 you can apply uh, the last uh, you know the maximum age is 30 years right maximum age is 30 years and the the uh, the date that is to be considered computation of age uh, minimum post qualification experience qualification shall be as on 3rd of october 2022 2022 so jo cut off date hai the age ka criteria that is to be you know noted jo age criteria jo hum calculate karenge uski cut off date jo hai wo 3rd of october 2022 hai theek hai so on that date up these cells a come on a giant TK examination fee is 600 for the general category EWS and the OBC category candidates for rest of the candidates it is 200 rupee and it is non refundable for sure 75% weighted you okay. that is for the written exam and 25% is for the interviews right and the Candidates would be called for the interview in, in interview in the ratio of one by four. So if there are like, let's say 10 seats, 40 candidates would be called for the interviews. Okay. For the marketing uh, assistant manager marketing for the assistant manager marketing, you need 60% marks. You need how much 60% marks in your MBA, right? So if you have done MBA with specialization in marketing, master's degree in marketing management, MBA with marketing as elective, then you are eligible. So if you have done dual specialization, dual specialization with the, let's say two specialization in which one is marketing, even then you are eligible. But if you have done uh, MBA in finance, then you are not eligible. If there is only one specialization which is not marketing then you are not eligible for finance and accounts bachelor's degree of commerce along with the CACWA so if you are a chartered accountant or a cost and work accountant along with a bachelor's degree uh, of commerce then you are eligible for this post for the legal uh, first class degree in the law from a government recognized university and institute and desirable law degree from national law school or law faculty of Delhi University. And for HR manager one, uh, it's first class, uh, full time master's degree with specialization in HR. So master's degree in PMIR in MSW MBA with HR. So if you have these degrees, then you are eligible, right? So there is exam pattern. So students, uh, professional knowledge, there are 60 questions. Each question carries 1.5 marks, 90 marks of professional knowledge, 15 questions in general knowledge, uh, general awareness, 15 marks, English language, 15 questions, 15 marks, logical reasoning, 15 questions, quantitative aptitude, 15 questions. The weightage is one mark only, but in professional knowledge, it is 1.5 five marks okay so comp the total time given allotted composite time is 120 minutes 120 minutes within 120 minutes you need to answer 150 questions which is actually you know time management would be an issue maybe for a lot of students right so and uh, there is no negative marking students okay so i just checked it there is no negative marking i mean nothing has been mentioned Kuch aisa mentioned nahi hai that 
इफ़ देर इज नेगेटिव मार्किंग और नॉट सो कुछ ऐसा मैंशन नहीं है अबाउट नेगेटिव मार्किंग सो वेन एवर द कॉल लेटर इज आउट मे बी एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम दे विल मैंशन इफ देर इज एनी नेगेटिव मार्किंग और नॉट ओके सो स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव लॉन्च द प्रॉपर कोर्सेज फॉर द मार्केटिंग मैनेजर एंड देन फॉर असिस्टेंट मैनेजर फाइनेंस एंड अकाउंट्स असिस्टेंट मैनेजर लीगल एंड असिस्टेंट मैनेजर एच आर सो फॉर दीज एग्जाम्स वी हैव लॉन्च द कोर्सेज वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग वीडियो क्लासेज द नोट्स क्विजेज proper question bank live doubt clearing session and power capsule that we are going to share with our students right for each of these subjects professional knowledge general awareness english language reasoning and cognitive aptitude we are going to provide the courses right the common syllab uh, syllabus for the english language there is reading comprehension close test error spotting double filler sentence rearrangement and vocabulary based questions this is the basic syllabus of english language that we are going to cover obviously grammar we are going to cover as well in the cognitive aptitude there is data interpretation both and streams time and work basic algebra uh time speed and dis uh, distance partnership mixture allegation ages and averages profit and loss percentages and interest problems based on trains pipes and system area and volume uh number series linear equation quadratic equation and data sufficiency this is the syllabus for the cognitive aptitude section okay for logical reasoning there is machine input output puzzle setting arrangement order and ranking inequality statement and assumption statement and conclusion coding decoding cause and effect statements and arguments venn diagram blood relations and direction sense test this is the syllabus for logical reasoning ability and for general awareness current affairs are most important and then the regulatory bodies we are going to do whatever is in the news uh, it depends actually uh, on uh, on the time period when the exam is going to be held uske hisab se latest updates in the financial markets uh, because it is uh, this uh, industry deals with uh, this particular corporation it's a government and uh, owned uh, you know corporation and it deals in the financial market so commercial banks nbfcs hfcs mergers and acquisitions obituaries appointments brand ambassadors the monthly capsule that we are going to provide cabinet ministers renamed government schemes we are going to do financial system uh, financial market instruments uh, international reports and indices important committees foreign investment and trade growth numbers the budget mergers and acquisitions uh, heads of various financial organizations regulatory bodies in india uh, joint military exercises summits conferences ranks rank of india in various indices very important upon uh, important appointments important days mous list of sporting events uh and then awards and honors so it is all these are from 2022 okay all these are from 2022 2022 2023 okay so uh, there was a problem there which i fixed in the professional knowledge finance and accounting let me hide myself there is fundamentals of accounting uh with the focus on data entry and basic accounting laws and fundamental of business law corporate law income tax act indirect taxation investment operations right uh, so fundamental of uh, auditing fundamental of cost accounting banking services fundamental with focus on lc and business and bank operations that is important right and in the basic accounting that was in finance and for the accounting part basic accounting standards basic accounting concepts financial management taxation auditing basic commercial laws such as contract act companies act sales of goods act and negotiable instruments act consumer protection act and rti and then the basics of computers so that is the syllabus for the law officer assistant manager law lot of syllabus is there you need to start with the constitution of india indian contract act special relief act ipc crpc evidence act see students commercial laws are more important companies act for example is more important transfer of property act is more important sebi act is important depository act is important negotiable instrument act is important contract act is actually important i need to find it out a uh, partnership act a uh, law of trust these are more important according to me banking ombudsman scheme which is now integrated ombudsman scheme uh, consumer protection act these are very very important okay and then uh, fema is also very important and uh, some of the topics here these are from 
you know uh, these are non commercial acts these are civil acts which are not that important but still we are going to do that we are not going to do that in depth but the basics we are going to cover okay uh for example the limitation act we are going to cover that cpc crpc these are like uh, not really relevant here but uh, you know we are going to do the basics okay so uh that's what we are going to cover uh, banking regulation very important credit information bureau really important so human resource human resources uh in this one we'll start with the principles of management principles of management the whole book of principles of management we are going to do starting with the development of management thoughts and then contribution of taylor uh, henry fayol mayo ci bernard behavioral approach system approach okay and then contingency approach functions of management various functions of management including planning decision making Uh, organizing staffing directing controlling coordinating all these uh, you know functions of management human resource management the basic book uh, we start with the human resource planning and then job analysis recruitment selection placement induction training types of training development performance management job evaluation compensation management employee benefits incentives and managing careers motivation theories are also very important leadership theories are important uh, i guess we didn't mention it here new trends in hrm and then moving on to the organization behavior its nature scope personality perception learning attitude motivation interpersonal behavior group dynamics con- communication power and authority stress organization change and development we are going to cover each of these topics then the human resource development concepts assumptions values hrd mechanics mechanisms action research model hrd culture and climate hrd in interventions hrd hr accounting audit consultant all these are part international hrm uh, it's important cultural diversity uh, cultural studies transitional organizations these are important in the industrial relations laws are also very important for example the industrial disputes act and the factories act they are important and industrial relation in the industrial relation scope evolution approaches actors models conflicts corporation cooperation uh, these are actually sort of important uh, trade union act is important here trade union act 1926 it's important then the labor le- the syllabus is uh, lengthy for hr right so factories act mines act these are important right more important child labor act is also very important and then the labor welfare the concept types theories principles industrial health hygiene industrial accident safety because that's that's what we have already covered in industrial disputes actually and the minimum wages act uh payment of wages act uh, the payment of bonus act the equal remuneration act the payment of gratuity act uh, the epf act is important the labor market the demand and supply and this is theoretical topic actually not that important for the exam but it's is there in the syllabus for the marketing management we start with the uh, the concepts of marketing management for example the potter model 4p 5c's strategic planning process swot analysis value chain and core competencies okay moving forward to the marketing environment uh, the marketing environment the factor influencing the consumer buying behavior uh, the business buying behavior the marketing research there is a whole book on marketing research but uh, we are going to cover that uh, the theories of motivation the leadership theories uh, the has uh, the maslow herzberg fruit very important uh, the buying decision process marketing research i already told you connecting with the customers the database data mining data mark database marketing data warehousing really really important concepts marketing mix marketing funnel customer relationship management really important concepts developing marketing strategies so positioning and differentiation product mix marketing leadership strategies very important cost niche very very important uh product life cycle very important concepts brand positioning pricing strategies identifying market segments and targets very very important okay so communication with customers uh, market communication process for effective communication so different advertising media communication the value so very important branding so brand equity 
rules, scope, uh, and models, brand positioning, differentiation strategies, competitive strategies for market leaders, product lifecycle marketing, uh, pricing strategy, and marketing awareness, right? So in the marketing awareness, what uh, what is covered? The latest brand ambassadors of various brands, right? Brands and the companies behind the brands, brand and their companies, right? And so whoever the brand ambassador is, the brand campaigns, that's also very important ads, various ads and campaigns, uh, any merger or acquisition of big brands, that is also very, very important. So all that is very, very important students, right? So uh, that's what you are supposed to cover. Uh, I hope uh, we have cleared it. So students, we have actually started the complete course. Uh, this is our WhatsApp number students. In case of any doubt, you can drop a WhatsApp message and we are going to answer all your doubts. Link to join the course, link to join the link to join course, the course is available in the description please check the links in the description so that you can join the class in case of any doubt drop us a whatsapp message we are going to provide you the complete classes the notes and the test series for the exams that's all for today students i hope you liked this session this was a very informative session if there is any doubt in your mind please ask your doubts and we are going to answer your doubts like this video share this video with your friends and subscribe the channel that's really important for me so students thank you and have a very very nice day bye bye